Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, sorry for the noisy background, sorry about that. Yes, I am running a Windows 7 virtual machine as you can see. Future video coming up, as you can see, I got Windows 2000, Windows Mini, Windows XP all in the setup screen, ready to go for a future video. Um, I have not used this virtual machine for a while, but I am using this for this video. Now, yes, I am updating Windows 7 because you can still update it if you haven't already. Which, if you guys know how to get like the, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, uh, turned off those fans so it sounds loud. Um, is there a way I can get like an ISO of Windows that's already fully up to date? Like, you know what I mean? To where, like, I don't have to go ahead and update it like this. Like, it's already fully up to date. Like, I don't know how to actually do that. Um, yeah. Is there a way, if you guys know how to get Windows 7 Service Pack 3, like an ISO that's fully up to date, you know, so I don't have to update it, that would be nice. Thank you. Anyway, we're going to see, look at it, they actually up, made an update for Windows 7 this year for Edge. For Microsoft Edge. That is sad. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. And I don't know why, but my computer for some reason hates VirtualBox. Like, I'm on Ubuntu right now, but like for some reason I give this thing 10 gigs of RAM, um, and it's just so slow. So I don't know why. Like, I have a Ryzen 3. I have a, like, a um, pretty good graphics card. I have a Radeon RX, sorry, almost, RX 5500 XT. Um, 24 gigs of RAM. So, I mean, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. That's a pretty dope rig already. Like, sure, the RAM are, okay, now, I am going to have to say the RAM are different speeds and different brands, but I actually configured them in the BIOS, and they're running the same, on the same frequency, and they work really good in Windows, and, and Ubuntu. It's just, even in Windows, um, VirtualBox is just not great. I don't know what it is, and I don't know why it's so buggy and slow, but yeah. We're going to see if Internet Explorer is still decent. Does it still work? I don't know. Let's find out. Can it even load MSN? Man, I missed this. This is what I played cool math games on in fourth grade. All right, let's see. Oh my God, does it? It already knows it. That's hilarious. Oh man, I missed the kind of loading. I hey, it still works. Actually, guys, I am going to be making a stream on the uh, 31st, playing cool math games pretty much all day to support the um, the death of Flash. It actually kind of hurts. Like I know it's a joke, but it actually kind of hurts because that's actually like a child. Like, I actually kind of hurt. But anyway, um, oh this this game is still being. Oh my God, I don't have Adobe. Yeah. See, this is what I don't understand. Like Google Chrome is like, please turn it off, turn it off, and I don't understand why. Like all they're doing is just not updating. Like it's not gonna hurt it, you know. Like it's like, please uninstall so it doesn't so it help protect your systems. Like it's not gonna hurt anybody. Stop acting like it's the end of the world. I don't know why y'all are doing that. And Adobe will block Flash content from running in Flash. Wait, what does that mean? Since Adobe will no longer be supporting Flash on December 20, and Adobe will block Flash content from running in Flash Player beginning January 12, 21. I mean, as long as you don't update and stay on older versions, cool math games and all these websites, they're going to be fine, all right? These websites are going to be fine as long as you stay on an older version. Like, for example, nobody likes Adobe's new um, launcher called a Creative Cloud because it doesn't work at the time it doesn't even start. So people are still using CS6 from like 10 years because it's actually a decent software. <clears throat> I know I'm crapping on Adobe, but they know better. Like, like literally, they need, they need to talk to somebody that knows how to make a lot like adobe makes some pretty good software but oh their launcher is garbage like it doesn't work on windows 10 no like like i even reinstalled windows one time just to freaking use adobe software like and i'm like dude like how bad is their software like it's just the cloud software like i don't know it's all anyway so you can't really download it what and I, what i want to know is how are they going to block flash content from beginning in 2021 dude there's so many file websites I can just get the version. You're not going to stop it. And uh, I'm guessing what they're going to do is they're going to put one more update on January 12th. And it's going to be an update so where you can't even. So I just don't have to. Anyway, I'm still going to install it. Because it's not going to hurt your computer even after. I hope this is the real website. Alright guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Can't be left alone for five seconds. Uh, this time is wrong, by the way. It's actually like 4.19. Um... I installed Flash, but still it works, so I tried like pretty much just Xing it out. Ugh. Does this thing even have extensions? Oh wow, two important messages. Did I miss Windows 7? I like how it's like virus. I don't care. Actually guys, uh I like how I have it set to never notify, but it still does anyway. Oh look at that, it still works. Let's play some cool meth. <laughs> oh, the sound quality is bad. Did you ever see how loud the sound quality was also was like 
think of 144p, but so there's no jump in the water. I, I click space bar, so I love the jump button. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, I see. I like the little jump sound effects. I see. Wait, so how is... What else must be? Hmm, I see. Okay. I'm actually not sure. Hmm. Wait, how do I get back? Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Simple. I just had a funny joke. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop that. Uh, let's try YouTube. I don't know, I might not be able to work on YouTube. Uh, what? Excuse me? Uh, I didn't say you're the default browser. Like, you can actually, like, literally F off. See, I don't like how Microsoft can just do that. Like, it just automatically just does whatever it wants. Illegal! I don't know if it's illegal, but it needs to be. Look, okay, Microsoft is a bunch of... Mm, Alright, no one lives. Ooh, -hoo, no one likes your browser, get out of here. You can suck it, alright? Not too harsh. Oh my god. It's just using... Okay, hold on, count, hold on. Be gone. Thought. <laughs> die. Die. Okay, come on. Let me just... Bye-bye. It's not even open. Alright, there you go. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, guys, now it will... Now it won't work. Let's see. See, it works fine. Like, I don't know why it wants me to use Edge so much. Sure, I'll make Internet Explorer my default browser. Why the heck not? It looks like it actually might work just fine. It's like a cameraman. I've seen this. Dude, it works fine. Like, why would they want me to... <laughs> Uh-oh, problem with stick cut. Good. It works fine. This browser is actually still pretty usable. Is this real? Like, I don't know if this is, like, a real video. But, I mean, cameraman, uh, that's, like, at least 50 pounds on their shoulder. Like, you have to actually be pretty fit. Um, yeah. This is pretty cool, guys. Well, it still works. But they just really want you to edge bad. It's ridiculous. So, guys, I noticed we just tried to delete everything. Uh, it's a good way to delete, delete junk files because it won't let you delete per, uh, important files. But if I, it will go ahead and delete files that aren't important. It's still pretty cool, huh? So like that was like at least five gigs just for uh, I think. Yeah, it helped a little bit. Anyway, guys, yeah, peace.